Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Mini UI on the M17. Before we get started, I want to mention this entire video was sponsored by Timu. So thank you to them. If you haven't heard of Timu, they have free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. And you can download the Timu app through the link in my description. It'll also have links to the M17 and the cases that fit them there as well. I'll also leave my special code on screen as well so you can use that for any coupons. In the box, we have the M17 handheld, and this can play up to PlayStation 1, with it being able to only play a little bit of PS1 currently. There's also a manual and a USB cable. I also grabbed these PS Vita cases, which we're about to find out if they do fit the M17. And they do, so it's a great fit. Now, to load MinUI onto this device, we're going to need an SD card reader. And a branded SD card. I'll be using a Samsung 128GB EVO here, as well as a Ugreen SD card reader. Head to the MinUI GitHub link in the description and download the base and extras from the newest release. Then you want to extract the base one first and then extract the extras after. Both of them to the same location and overwrite any files it asks you to overwrite. If you did it right, you should see the folders and files like mine on screen. Now, insert your SD card into your PC and we want to use Rufus to format it. If you don't have Rufus already, download it and I'll have that link in the description as well. Open Rufus and make sure the device is your SD card and then change boot selection to non-bootable. Change file system to FAT32 or large FAT32, whatever it shows for you. Click start and it should be quick. Then all you have to do is copy all of the folders and files that we extracted from MinUI zips and paste them onto the SD card. Eject the card after and put it into your device. Turn it on. You should see an installing MinUI screen. Then it'll load right into MinUI and it'll be bare bones right now. 
Fair warning, I couldn't get my camera to record this screen without flickering, so the rest of the video will just have it. No matter what shutter speed, ISO, or whatever I tried, it just couldn't do it. Let's go ahead and turn off the device and put the SD card back into the PC. Now let's go ahead and transfer our ROMs and BIOS files over. If you have no idea what ROMs and BIOS files are, I have a video in the description and also there's the tiny best set go page you can see here. There's instructions on how to download them as well. If you get stuck, the Discord in my description is a great place to help. So, with a library of ROMs and BIOS files, we can now move them to the SD card. It should be fairly easy to understand. Put your BIOS files in the right folder, so the PS folder is for PlayStation BIOS, for example. Then for ROMs, move your ROMs to the right system. So GB is Game Boy, GBA is Game Boy Advance, and so on. Load it all up with games. Once you're done, safely eject and pop the SD card back. You should now see all of your systems and games inside, and you can start playing. If you push the top left button, it opens the menu for you to save, load and exit, or change some other settings. That's going to be it for this one. 
Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow, and hope you all have a good one.